It's time to hit the parks in Dreamlight Valley, so go grab that comfy cozy drink and let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to Jade Miss Gaming, Jade Mist here, and today we're taking a look at the new event that just dropped in Dreamlight Valley, the Dreamlight Parks Fest. But before we do, you know the drill, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell to get notified of all future cozy gaming content, and be sure to follow me over on Twitch for some more gaming shenanigans. All right, now on to the video. This week, Dreamlight Valley kicked off their Dreamlight Parks Fest and a new community challenge, which brings all sorts of amazing goodies to the valley. From May 15th all the way through June 5th, the Dreamlight Parks Fest will bring in new activities that award you with exclusive event recipes and furniture, all themed around the Disney parks, such as these adorable collectible popcorn buckets. Now, before we dive into all the details, there is a new rewards redemption code that you can redeem using using code parksfest24. So go into your settings, click help, then type in the code in the redemption box, then check your in-game mailbox for your rewards. This will give you some of the new craftable furniture items from the Disney parks. So be sure to do that first thing. All right, now let's dive straight in and see exactly what you have to do to get your hands on these adorable popcorn buckets. The basic idea of this event is to gather different kinds of buttons all around your valley in order to craft these collectible popcorn buckets. Simple enough, right? So there's four different kinds of buttons that you're going to get. Red buttons, flower buttons, blue and purple buttons. So where do we find these buttons? Simple. The red ones will be found lying around the floor on Dazzle Beach and the Forest of Valor. The Dreamlight Valley news page says that you can find them around or in villager houses, but I have yet to see them inside any villager houses. So let me know in the comments if you found any actually inside their homes. I found some that were nowhere near their houses so I find them all over the biome. The flower buttons can be found in the plaza and in the peaceful meadows in the form of a red flower with a yellow button in the center. You can't miss them, they are literally sparkling. The blue buttons can be found by fishing in white bubbles in your peaceful meadow ponds or in Dazzle Beach. Be sure you don't have your potion on your fishing rod because it will turn your white bubbles golden and you won't get these blue buttons. The green buttons can only be obtained as rewards for daily and weekly villager requests, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And lastly, the purple buttons can only be crafted using red and blue buttons. Now, if you have the DLC for Eternity Isle, I highly recommend using your ancient vacuums if you have one so that you quickly gather all these buttons around your valley. It's the simple and fastest method. All right, so let's see all of this in action. First things first, you'll need to go talk to Scrooge to kick off the event officially in your game. He'll prompt you to start two separate events. The first quest will be his daily quest asking you to bake cupcakes, specifically stitch cupcakes. He'll have provided you with five new recipes for the new cupcakes that came with the update before. Now I already provided you all with these recipes in a previous video up here in the cards that you can check out and you can also check them out here on the screen. If you haven't baked these before, you can go ahead and just learn the recipes that Scrooge gave you and then get to baking. You'll then be asked to go around and give five different villagers your stitch cupcakes. You you won't be able to give the same villager five of those cupcakes. It has to be different villagers. When you finish this quest, you'll be rewarded with green buttons. Now there's going to be other villagers with daily quests asking you to do the same exact thing, but with different cupcakes out of the five new recipes that you learned, specifically Mickey, Ursula, Wally, and Moana. You can gift the same villagers that you just gifted for Scrooge's daily, and it will count for, let's say, Mickey's quest. You just can't gift the same exact villager directly the current quest. So quick tip is to just go inside Chez Remy, gift all the villagers that are sitting there waiting to be served, go get another villager's daily quest and come back to those same villagers in Remy's. Now complete all of these daily quests to be rewarded with green buttons. The second quest that Scrooge has for you is his weekly quest. This time he's going to ask you to gather tons of resources in order to craft new furniture that you'll need to place down to decorate a new theme park design. So here are all the required resources you're going to need 
for this quest. 25 iron ingots, 10 red falling pentstemons, 15 green rising pentstemons, 5 sunflowers, 25 rope, 5 white and red hydrangeas, 5 purple hydrangeas, and 5 yellow daisies. Now if you need help getting any of these items, you can head over to my discord and place a valley trading ad to find other players willing to trade or simply gift you the items. And if you want to get a head start for next week's weekly quest, you'll need to gather these other resources to complete a more furniture items that Scrooge will ask you. Now if you don't want to know these items and you don't want to be spoiled, go ahead and skip this part. But for those of you that do want to get a head start, this is what you'll need. You're going to need 25 iron ingots again, 5 topaz, 50 fiber, 25 pebbles, 25 sand, and 25 clay. And that's it. Now while you're completing your dailies and your weekly quests, go around gathering all of the forgeable buttons I mentioned at the beginning and accumulate them. Once you've gathered enough buttons and crafted your purple buttons, you can go ahead and craft all of the new collectible popcorn buckets. This is the end game basically to this event. In addition to your new popcorn buckets, you will be able to complete the three new village duties that reward you with exclusive rewards. So here's how you can actually complete all of these village duties. You have the Sweet Samaritan, which requires you to gift 50 villagers new cupcakes that you just learned. You can gift the same exact villager 50 cupcakes for this. It's actually a great way to level up new characters such as Daisy and Oswald. That's how I leveled up Daisy and it's such an easy method. The button maker requires you to craft 20 purple buttons. That's it. Pretty simple. And lastly, the popcorn enthusiast will be completed once you've crafted all of the new collectible popcorn buckets and placed them outdoors in your valley. They will not count if you place them inside your house. They have to be placed outside. And what are we getting for exclusive rewards for completing these? Well, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know, go ahead and again skip this part. But if you do want to know, here they are. You will get a Magic Kingdom map, a regular one, a retro Magic Kingdom map, and a vintage Magic Kingdom map. Super cute, a lot bigger than I expected, and I think they're adorable to decorate inside your house. And that's it for the event. Moving on, in addition to all of this questing and crafting, there's a new community challenge, much like the one that we had way back in the day when we first had theme park items introduced into Dreamlight Valley. Now, once again, we're challenged to build our own theme parks. The basic idea of this is to have everybody in the community do these specific challenges, and if the required amount of people complete it, everybody who participates will be rewarded with prizes that come in waves in your mailbox. The first community challenge is 500 photos with the partner's statue. This does not mean that you specifically have to take 500 photos with your partner statue. It means that 500 different people must take the photos as a whole in the Disney Dreamlight community. Once this has been accomplished, you'll then receive a prize categorized as crafting essentials pack in your in-game mail. In other words, you're probably going to get a bunch of resources that you'll be able to use to craft items. The second community challenge is 350k recyclers placed. Again, it does not mean you placing 350,000 recyclers. That would be insane. The prize for that is a Main Street decor pack. The third challenge is 400k stands placed, which rewards you with a baking essentials pack. The fourth challenge is 450,000 cupcakes cooked, which rewards you with a Mickey Mouse items pack. And last but not least, 600,000 attractions ridden. Simply place down any attraction ride, ride it, and that's it. You'll then be awarded with moonstones and a large chest once 600,000 people actually do that. How many moonstones? No idea, but I hope it's a generous amount after seeing the amount of moonstones we're gonna need to buy all of the premium shop items items this time around. And that's it. That's all you need to know about the new Dreamlight Parks Fest and Community Challenge. Let me know in the comments below which collectible popcorn bucket is your favorite. Mine are Stitch and Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh has this cute little sound effect that pops as soon as you open it. And Stitch is just Stitch. How can you not love Stitch? <laughs> He's absolutely adorable. Now, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and head on over to Twitch and follow me over there for some more gaming shenanigans two to three times a week where I multi-stream alongside with YouTube. All right, guys, until the next time, happy gaming. Bye.